Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure loads of other YouTubers say that. I don't know, it's just what comes to me. <laughs> Some of you might know that I was asking for questions on Instagram and Facebook because I want to do a Q&A. But this is going to be a Q&A with a twist. I assume you already know, seeing as you can see the title <laughs> of this video. But I've been wanting to do <clears throat> a nugget challenge, a 50 nugget challenge for a while. It's been on the list. But now that the spicy nuggets are out, I want to do a spicy nugget challenge. <laughs> so currently on this plate there's 20 nuggets. I currently have more. Um, I'm gonna, I've got 50, 52 technically. But the aim is to eat 50. Will I do it? I doubt it. <laughs> but we're gonna find out whilst answering your questions. Now, if you haven't tried the spicy nuggets yet, they're really, really good. They're only in UK McDonald's until the 24th of September, so I had to eat as many as I could because <laughs> they're actually really nice. So, here's the first one. They're still really hot. Oh, it's spicy. I also got some fries. Just one portion, just to kind of, you know, break up the monotony <laughs> of the nuggets. Got my water. Got my phone. So let's start with some Instagram questions. So the first question on Instagram I got was from my friend Ross. His Instagram is King of Castle Milk. Um, I'll put it here and it will also be in the link below if you want to go and follow him on Instagram. His question is: have you ever experimented with any drugs? So as most of you know, I'm pretty anti-drugs. So I can safely say I have never taken an illegal drug ever in my life. The only drug I have done is called salvia. I don't know if you guys know what that is. I don't even really know what it is. All I knew was that Miley Cyrus had done it and it was legal. So I was like, I want to do it. So I got a group of friends together and we all kind of did it. I think he like smoked it. We, I think we smoked it through a bomb. Like I said, legal, Grant, if you're listening to this, it's a legal drug. <laughs> um, but it was horrible, I hated it. Um, and that just put me off drugs more, like, <laughs> more than I already could be. I was already not happy with drugs, but did salvia once, never again. Five nuggets down. Next question. So my friend Anna said, what's your dreamiest dream job? These nuggets are really spicy when you have a lot of them. So I would say, dream job, dream job, dream job. Obviously working for Disney would be amazing. That has always been kind of up there. Uh, I know it'll probably never happen, but um, if we're gonna go with dream job, it would be working for Disney as, I don't even know, maybe as someone who dresses the princesses or gets Mickey and, and, and Minnie and all the characters kind of ready to meet people. To be honest, I would take any job with Disney. <laughs> but like a kind of realistic job. I would love to work with social media, like I love social media. Um, so working for a company on their social media, um, customer service wise or content wise would be probably my realistic dreamy job. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. 10 nuggets down, 10 to go in this batch. Next question. Billy asks, if it was your last day on earth, what would you get up to? <laughs> My nose is like running. I don't know if it's from like the spiciness, but nose is running. So last day on earth, what would I do? It would depend where I was. So say most likely I'm just going to be here in Glasgow in my flat. I would eat whatever the hell I wanted and probably watch movies. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if friends wanted to hang out or family wanted to hang out, if we all knew it was our last day then um, maybe I'd do that, you know, hang out with family and friends. But you know, I'm pretty happy being alone um, either way. <sighs> Starting to get... <clears throat> full now. 
Another question I got on Instagram was, what's your take on the whole Brexit nonsense? I've been ignoring the whole Brexit nonsense. Um, it's just too much for my brain to handle. Um, so I've been taking nothing to do with it. That's my thoughts <laughs> on the whole Brexit nonsense. It's going to play out whatever way it's going to play out. And there's nothing we can really do about that anymore, to be honest. Andrew asked if you can hang around with anyone for a YouTube video, who would it be? I mean, dream of dreams, it's going to be Shane Dawson. Uh, as you guys know, who have watched my videos, I love Shane Dawson. He is my number one, so if I could hang around with anyone for a YouTube video, it would be Shane Dawson. This is 15. Five left after this one. This is hard. This is not easy. Only five more, and then that will have been 20 nuggets out of 50. Let's keep going, guys. Martin asked, Mickey Goofy or Daffy Duck snog Manny avoid? Now, there's a lot wrong with that question. First of all, Mickey and Goofy Disney characters. Daffy Duck, not a Disney character. So I think I'm just gonna not answer that question <laughs> and shake my head in disappointment at you, Martin. I thought better, I thought better of you. Do you like theme parks and roller coasters? Hell yeah. <laughs> I love theme parks, love roller coasters. The bigger, the scarier the ride, the better. Um, I love it. And that's why I keep going back to Orlando so much because <laughs> I just love the theme parks and all the rides. <clears throat> After this one, I love eight twenty nuggets. I don't recommend this. <laughs> okay. Eight to twenty. These five more will take it to twenty-five. And that's half. <sighs> more questions. Disco Liz asked. What are you most looking forward to at Halloween Hornets? Seeing you, obviously. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time with uh, Liz, kind of having someone to push me <laughs> to like go into the houses and experience them. Someone who's willing to be grabbed and have their ears burst open from me screaming and <laughs> hear some swear words, very possibly. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you Liz um, but yeah I'm just looking forward to experiencing the event like the houses aside because um, I'm a big scaredy cat I love the event the event is amazing it's just really really cool and they put so much work and effort and craft and design into it it's just it's just amazing to behold it um, but yeah I'm looking forward to hopefully being dragged into a few more houses this year um, which will hopefully get me used to it which means I can I can do it more and more but um, yeah I don't know if I'll ever be a fan of uh, things jumping at me I really really don't want to finish these last four nuggets to make it to 25 but I'm gonna try okay guys I think I'm going to have to give up. I'm starting to feel really sick now. So, I made, what I did, 21 and a half? 21 and a half out of 50. Not bad. I'm going to continue with the questions and we'll come back to this at the end. Where else would you like to live in the world besides Glasgow? I used to think I wanted to live in America. And um, that was always the dream, you know, like move to Orlando and live there forever. But with the way America is right now, I don't know if I would ever want to do that. Um, with gun violence and other things <laughs> or people. But, um, you know, I've learned to love Glasgow over, oh, as I've gotten older. Um, I won't say I used to hate it, but I used to just dream of America, but I really do enjoy Glasgow. If I had to live anywhere else, maybe like South Africa or, oh no, actually the heat would kill me. Maybe Blackpool. I kind of love Blackpool. 
<laughs> I have a soft spot for black pool in my heart, so maybe black pool. Matt's question was, is there a science behind how Glaswegian BR, which is his YouTube name, um, pulls off the sexy trench coat look? This is what he's referring to. And I'm just going to answer it with ego. Okay, that was all the Instagram questions, so now we're going to go over to Facebook questions. Heather asked, who's your biggest female inspiration from any point in history or today and why? So, I'm not a big history buff, so you're not going to get an answer of like Marie Curie or anything like Joan of Arc or anything like that. But I gave this some thought and there's kind of two females that I want to mention. The first being Ellen DeGeneres, who most of you guys will probably know she's like a talk show host, a comedian, and she's just one of the kindest people on the planet and she kind of raised herself up from nothing and was the first lesbian to come out on TV um, and which was bad, you know, for her, like, because she lost her career because of that and then she built it back up and the message that she gives to people is to be kind to one another and I think that's a message we should all live by in this day and age because there's too much negativity um, in the world and we don't need any more of it, so be kind to one another, guys. And the next person I'm going to mention is Demi Lovato. She's actually, I'm pretty sure she's younger than me and I look up to her. She has been through so much in her life um, and she doesn't try to hide it. She is very outspoken about her mental illnesses, her eating disorders, her problems, her addictions. Um, and I think that's a really good thing. The, like In this day and age, you've got to be open and honest about these things so they can stop being stigmatised. And also she's absolutely gorgeous, um, she's not a stick thin um, model, she um, has curves, she is honest, um, she doesn't BS, she speaks her mind uh, and that's kind of what I aim, aim for, I, I aim to be open and honest and, and yeah I just love to be the battle. Lindsay said, who's your favourite ginger? Well my brother's ginger. <laughs> So it's a close tie between my brother and Lindsay. <laughs> uh, Mia asked, what do you do that's normal to you which other people find weird? Like, so, like, there's no time to go through the list. <laughs> I have this kind of, like, tick um, that I kind of edit out of all my videos <laughs> um, where I just, like, squeak. Like, it's, it's kind of like a cross between a hiccup and a tick. It's, it's very strange, I'll just like squeak out of nowhere. And maybe I'll try and leave it in at one of the videos and see if anyone notices it. <laughs> um, another thing, um, I like to have, I've not had one in a long time, but I do like a piece of noodles. So like I'll cook some super noodles and then like put the noodles in the sandwich. <laughs> um, another thing that people find weird when I tell them that I like is I like dipping my McDonald's fries into McFlurries, uh, into the ice cream. Um, the sweet and the salty aspect is really nice. Um, but I want to know you guys. You guys, uh, leave a comment down below telling me something that weird that you do or that you like that others would find weird. Ben asked, if you could be a Disney character for a day, who would it be and why? And it's got to be Ariel um, since the Little Mermaid is my favourite Disney movie and ever since I was young I would dream of being a mermaid um, and swimming in the ocean with a beautiful tail. I used to, when I used to go for a bath when I was younger at my grand's house, I would make her <laughs> like role play with me and I would be Ariel and she would be King Triton, <laughs> she would be Ursula, she'd basically play all the other characters and I'd be in the bath like splashing around like a mermaid. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Gran. <laughs> Jill asked, as another musical fan, uh, what is the best musical you've ever seen? I'm assuming Jill means in the theatre. Um, so that's how I'm going to take the question. Um, 
This is a really hard one because I did go to New York. I did see Broadway shows which were absolutely stunning. But if we're talking overall experience, um, I'm going to say the best musical I've ever went to see is Heather's The Musical. I went to see that in London eh, and Carrie was playing Veronica, the main character. And I think me and my friend Lindsay were a eh, third row or something and it was just amazing. Uh, the atmosphere, the songs, the, the, the just everything and um, I didn't know anything about the show really. Um, I had seen Heather's The Movie with Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. Uh, I had seen that maybe just a couple of weeks before I went to see Heather's The Musical. Uh, the only reason I was going to see Heather's The Musical is because I'm a big Carrie Hope Fletcher fan. And she was playing the lead so I was like I need to go and see her in this. And I just completely fell in love with the show. And I listened to the soundtrack for the show literally almost every single day. If not, at least a few times a week. I'm obsessed with it and I hope uh, they bring it back because I will go and see it again. Jay's asked, will you ever eat anything else other than chicken nuggets at Walt Disney World? No. <laughs> and last question that I made Jay's ask because his question was rude <laughs> um, about me only eating chicken nuggets. He said, you're Imagineer for one day and have unlimited funds. What one attraction do you bring to what Disney Park? It can't be an IP already in place. So, this is a difficult one. Um, I had to think about it. And I'm just gonna go with the really bizarre attraction that would never happen, but I would love to see. Um, so Oliver and Company is a Disney movie and it's what my favorite underrated Disney movie. Um, it's basically like the plot of Oliver Twist, um, but with animals. Um, and I've always been obsessed with little Oliver. Uh, if you've watched my Bibbity Bobbity unboxing video, um, you'll have seen me get so excited when Oliver from Oliver and Company was on the socks. Um, but yes, yeah, so that attraction would be um, kind of a walkthrough. And then at the end, you get to play with cats. All my questions, thank you to everyone who sent in a question, <laughs> who I forced to send in a question. No, I didn't force anyone. Um, but I just asked really nice. I failed completely at the 50 Nugget Challenge. I feel really ill, but I'm happy. I did over 20, which is, I mean, I did 21 and a half. I was aiming for like at least 25, but I just couldn't do it. I, I don't want to make myself sick. <laughs> Um, but at least that challenge is over and done with now, I never have to do it again. <laughs> if you want to answer any of the questions that I answered, feel free to do that in the comments down below. I do really want to know about the, if you guys have anything weird that other people would find weird, um, like habits or things you do or whatever, I would really like to know. Um, so if you could leave that down in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching this random video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!